So welcome back to real time chat series and if you want to list a great project in your resume this is the great project you want to build. So in this episode we are actually going to fix the problem of auto scrolling. So if I type any message here we have to scroll down but I want to scroll automatically and next is that if I refresh and go to console you can see it's giving a little warning so let's first complete this warning and remove this so we have to provide the key so we have to give the key so that value will be value dot index I'm giving the key it just for uh, getting the key for each of the loop okay so now the warning is gone next so for scrolling part we have to search view chat scroll okay so this is the first one you will get or you can get from npm i will open this github repository view chat scroll and here it's giving how to install it so let's just run this on our terminal so is that here it is okay so paste it so it will download view chat scroll and then we have to import these things so we will use all these things and go to our app.js and here let's get everything for view chat scroll so you can see it's now completed let's run npm watch and here we are so how we will going to create that so we can use v chat scroll so v chat scroll is here so i will go here on this chat dot plate i will give for ul v chat scroll so reload hard reload give that two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and now if I say 14 and you can see auto scrolled 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3 and auto scroll so you can see it's easy and super easy so this is very nice trick to have this auto scrolling part and what next we have to do obviously everything is good but we need to have some kind of coloring so that we can differentiate the incoming message and outgoing message so what I can do if I go to message dot view here firstly I will define uh, props and that prop will get the color okay simple and very simple so let's get this prop from our parent and here I will say color is equal to let's say firstly we will give warning and here in the message now I have to compute a function which will say class name and that function will return this will return uh, simply list group item but we have to add this with we have to give like this you can see this is the kind of things we have to give so dash plus this dot color so we have this and now let's bind this with our ally so now the class will be class name okay so it's having some kind of error because I am not having a comma here so build successful let's go reload and let's see whether we are getting something or not yeah we are getting this color so that's great so if I want to give another color so let's say success so this is giving success color and great okay so the next is I want to have a little name of the user who has sent this message so let's go here to the message dot view component and I will give a small tag and that small tag will have a badge and that should be 
a float of right and I will firstly give u here okay and because component has to be inside of one element so I will move everything inside div so that we don't get any kind of error so let's go reload and type anything we are not getting that maybe because you can see it's white so we have to give some kind of again the color so class will be let's say batch uh, danger <laughs> so reload you have some kind of error so that's because yeah because we have to give like this so build successful good and yeah very nice so if i give another great very nice so what i can do here it's uh, i think better to have a same color for the color and the uh, username so instead of this danger what i will do i will again give a class for i will say badge class that badge class is a computed property so batch class is going to return same thing and here I have to say batch dash plus this dot color okay so go back reload and we have some kind of error once more so give comma and build successful reload and yeah that's cool okay so in the next episode we are actually diving on the level part because view part it's somewhat done but now we have to start the level pusher and broadcast everything so if you have learned something from bitfumes and you want to support bitfumes then you can donate one dollar or more on the patreon.com so that i can continue and give you the quality content to enhance your developing skills Okay, don't forget to share this video with your developer friend and we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.